Hey everybody, it's Ephraim225, back finally with another actual Let's Play. Uh, took me a while to get back into a Let's Playing mood, but recently I finished uh, S-ranking all of the maps in an Advanced Wars 2 ROM hack. So it looks like I'm going to be playing that for you guys now. The hack in question is this, the Advanced Wars 2 War Room Challenge. Uh, this is a hack made by the good people over at WarsWorldNews.com. Uh, I was actually involved in the development myself, I made a couple of the maps. What this is basically is a set of 30 brand new, incre increasingly difficult War Room maps. So, it's an all new challenge, and I'm gonna S rank all of them for you guys right here. There's a tutorial map that basically gives you a rundown of some of the gameplay changes made to this, but it is basically uh, Advanced Wars 2. Uh, none of the vanilla COs were changed, but as you've probably guessed by now, there are some new COs added in. First up is Span Island, with a little bit of a twist to it. I'm gonna use Max for this, the enemy CO is Jess. And in Span Island, we are playing Span Island from player 2's position instead of player 1. And there's a little text box to tell you what the uh, time limit for the map is. If you want to get an S rank on any of these maps, you have to complete the map within its time limit. And you also have to destroy at least 10% of the units the enemy builds in a single turn, and you can't lose more than 10% of the units that you have built. Very tricky to do in some of the maps. Now my strategy for Span Island here is going to be uh, just to uh, rush an infantry over to the HQ over the northern bridge and bring a bunch of tanks and other stuff up there to help it out. I actually couldn't complete this because I kept trying to force my way through the bottom half of the map when I was first starting out with this uh, hack. But that is not the best idea! You will just get overrun because Jess can very easily capture that base there. And she'll start building her tanks from it. Let's see here, where do I want to go? I'd like to avoid getting hit by that tank there, so this is a good spot. It's going to be very tricky to do in 10 turns. Some of these time limits are just absolutely awful. Alright, let's see here. That recon can basically hit anywhere in this section of the map, so we need to... Let's go ahead and move it... Let's see. I would say about here is probably a good spot. That gives us some leeway. Now let's hope that she doesn't try to clog the road with infantry, that would not be a good idea. Well, for us, anyways. Okay, that's good. The artillery moved. It was giving me trouble in a previous attempt at this map. Oh yeah, what you gonna do now? I think I will just let this infantry capture that city, but I'll damage it to stall it a little. What are we at? We are on day six. You have to drop it. Uh, you have to drop your infantry before turn. Uh, I think it's nine. Yeah, nine. Because it'll use turn nine to start capturing, and then it'll use turn ten to finish. We can drop it right here, though. You know, we'll have dropped it earlier. She didn't build anything! Oh my goodness, she didn't build anything. This is awesome. Uh, let's see. Let's go here. Okay, she didn't build anything. This is so good. We might just have an S rank, gentlemen. Is she gonna capture that? Yeah, she'll capture that, but I'm, I'm not, uh, worried.
Now, she might destroy the APC. We'll see. Oh, it lived! This is so cool! I think I might do no casualties. That would be really epic. Thank you so much for have letting your AI just uh, mess up like that, Jess. Uh, we're on turn 8. We got, we've absolutely got to uh, start capturing that on day 9, at the very least. Or else we won't make it in time. Uh, but she can build something now. I might just regret, uh... She might build something now. She has a space to do it with. But she is low on infantry, so the AI has this thing where it absolutely must build. Okay, a mech is good. A mech is very good. And in order to stop the mech from attacking the infantry, we will have to make a strategic sacrifice here and use the APC to block it. I'm so glad it lived. Basically, all we need to worry about now is our power ranking, which I'm not sure if we did get 100% uh, on. In fact, let's check it out before we finish. You can now check your progress on S-Ranking the map, and it looks like we did, in fact, get a full S-Rank. All three bars next to the S-Rank icon are red, so we're good to go. And that little plus one means I have gotten an S-Rank on this map with maps before. The game now tracks that. Oh, that was so epic. Opening this Let's Play up with a perfect S on the first try. Very nice. Although, as you saw on the high score screen, I have done it in nine days with Max. Alright, next up is Miel's Cape, which I'm pretty sure was inspired by Miel's Hope from Vanilla Advance Wars 2. Same annoying enemy CO and all that. I'm gonna use Jess for this. Her tanks have a higher boost to them than Max's do, but Max has a more broad array of units that he gets powered up. The time limit for this is 25 days because, oh god, is this a stupid map. It's mostly... I mostly hate it because of the enemy CO. There's like four or five maps in this hack that have Sensei as the enemy CO. Somebody really likes how annoying that guy is. I mostly hate him due to his CO power, but... Yeah. Hopefully I have a strategy ironed out for beating him, because due to the way this level is designed, there's kind of a couple of ways it can trip you up. So the first thing I'm going to do is stop him from getting that northern neutral base right here. You can do that with an anti-air or a tank, but an anti-air is better in the long run because it'll scare off his B-copters. I'm surprised they didn't nerf Sensei at all in this hack for balance. Well, they did. His tanks are weaker now. Not that it means much. Because he still has his B-copters. And his CO powers, which spam infantry like there's no tomorrow. Oh yeah, and his APCs and T-copters have plus one movement to them, which in the player's hands is really overpowered, but for the computer, well, maybe not so much. I'm going to leave that infantry alive so it keeps trying to capture with only uh, 2 HP, which will take longer than if I just destroy it and a new one takes its place. The tank is probably going to attack the anti-air. Oh no, it attacked my tank instead, that's very strange. Alright, so that's interesting. I didn't think it would do that. I thought it would, uh, be smarter. 
which means we can attack the artillery now. Okay. I learn something new every day when I play this. I'm just not going to bother with that southern path at all. It is not worth trying to go through a snail's pace through the woods. Uh-oh, am I going to be able to get to the B-copter on this turn? I should be able to. Yeah, there we go. He wasn't safe after all. I'll just leave him to capture that city. And I do believe that's our power ranking secure. Now, if you're thinking I'm going to be able to make it to the HQ before he starts capturing my HQ, no, you actually need some HQ defenses, so I'm going to build a B-copter for that. I don't want to use a ground unit because that force is too thick to be moving around in. Like it or not, I need some form of HQ defense. And I need to not be stupid with it this time. Last time I tried this, he surprised me and actually joined his infantry in order to make the HQ capture. It was so sick. It's like the AI joining is the... W <laughs> well, the AI joins plenty, I guess, but... The AI being smart is just something that should not happen. There weren't... I don't think there were any changes to the AI, because we don't exactly know enough about the Advanced Wars 2 AI to make... some... make any big changes to it. Okay, now he's CO powering. I was wondering when he would do that. His CO power doesn't do much in this map, but oh goodness, there are some maps in this hack which are just built for infantry spam, and I hate that. Alrighty. Maybe I should build another uh, B copter. Two's better than one, I guess. Um, yeah, another helicopter is probably the best idea. Because now I can actually destroy that infantry unless he blocks one of the spaces with another unit. Okay, we're good. Unless he pulls out some miracle strategy, then he's probably going to not be able to capture that HQ after all. Am I in range of this? No. Okay, we're good. That worked out nicely. Uh, can't attack it, so I might as well just uh, build them. And I'm gonna build a T-copter to make transporting that infantry a little quicker. Oh, no, he's CO powered again. This is not gonna be good. See, he joined his infantry down there, and that killed me last time. Now, if I had only built one B-copter, that wouldn't have been very good. Um... Mm, actually, I think we should CO power. Both for movement and that anti-air is low on fuel and ammo. Okay, so we should have a little boost to our 
I said boost, not... Oh, he didn't attack the infantry here. I did not see that. I wonder why he didn't do that. We're gonna... We're gonna take just a little bit of damage from the artillery, but it's nothing significant. Alright, that tank might pose a bit of a problem, but let's see what the helicopters do. We absolutely have to get rid of the infantry now, of course. Uh, we'll make a mid-tank. <laughs> Please get those infantry out of the way. Well, they're relatively out of the way. And he just built missiles. I don't know why the AI builds missiles there. We don't have... Well, we have two B-copters, but what are Jess B-copters going to do against him? All we need now is to get an infantry to the HQ. We do have the T-Copter infantry, but it's too far away. And now that there's a, one of his units blocking the HQ, we can probably just make our way towards his HQ. And not have to worry about a thing. I guess I'm not gonna beat my old time after all. I thought I could get it a, a little quicker than that. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure you can't build anything here. And now it's a game of waiting for our other units to arrive. I guess the T-Copter infantry will be what we use after all. See, this is an, an, an annoying map normally, but if you have a strategy for it, like I did here, I, I kinda had to think a little differently in order to devise the strategy. Which I guess makes it a nice map, aside from its uh, choice of enemy CO. I'll just leave it there and hope for the best. We haven't lost a single unit yet, actually. That's very nice. Oh, I should I hit the button too fast and I got a mech, uh, an infantry instead of a mech. I was gonna get a mech. Oh well. Oh, he joined and wasted attack turns. I guess we might get no casualties after all. And, he's, and as you can see, that recon refuses to get off the HQ, so he's basically lost now. Let's get you out of the way. Ah! Oh, I can't block the airport? Are you serious? Oh well, what's he gonna build at the airport? We have like two anti-airs. Yeah, the rest of this is pretty much a formality. I already know we've basically secured our power score, and we haven't lost a single unit, so that's technique in the bag. And he can only build infantry at this point. Oh, and right as I say that, he uses his CO power. I was gonna say that his AI would default to building infantry, but uh, now that he's used his CO power, that's not gonna be the case. All of our infantry are in the transporters, so they can't be hurt. I built an anti-air. We'll have to get away from that. And he built a transport copter, actually. Okay, so his AI will be defaulting to transport copters. For the airports, at least. We want to get rid of the units that can actually fire on us.
Uh, the mech is gonna hit me, but I want to block the um, base. Which we do. Yeah, let's just see how it turns out. Okay, that's not much damage. And we've basically won. Make sure you can't fight back with anything. We're gonna win this one in 17 turns. That's a lot coming off of the time limit. Oh, what's this going to do? Oh, okay. It'll take a little longer for him to win. Or, I mean, lose. Oh, and there goes the no casualty run. <laughs> I, I swear, when I'm recording, I jinx up. He didn't attack? He didn't attack? He had like two infantry in range of this thing. Well, let's double check just to be sure. Okay. That's an S rank. That was very strange. I thought I jinxed it, but now we've won, so. I don't know what to say about that. Jess and the giant pencil beat old man. Okay, third up on the list is Iron Knuckle, enemy CO, Canvay. Uh, it's a pretty short map, pretty low funds. I've beaten it with Sensei in the past, but I don't think Sensei is very sporting, so let's use Sammy. Numerous nerfs were made to Sammy. They nerfed Sammy, but not Sensei. I do not understand that logic one bit. They lowered her capture rate to 1.25, they lowered her- they removed the transport movement bonus and gave her a transport defense bonus instead. I don't understand the logic behind these guys. Last time I wound up with like, I got an infantry to the HQ, but it only had, like, one point left on it. I was, like, so close, and I was... Ugh. Okay, I think this time around I'm going to do things a little bit differently. I want to capture these, and then make the first decopter. Because Sammy still has Victory March, and it's still an instant capture on anything, including the HQ, but... The thing is... It's not, um... You know, Victory March is too expensive for us to be able to see it on a map like this. Okay, I'll do that. Alright, how close can I get? Uh, that's pretty close, alright. Alright, I'll go for it. There's no way to stop the infantry, though. But is it gonna go for that infantry? I don't know. Alright, let's make sure nothing can get hit. 
Yeah, we're okay. We need to... Two units should be enough to get the power rank. 100 power. Alright, that's good. And he can't build anything there, so now we have it secure. I'm a day later than the time I was expecting, but we've got it. Now we've got to not attack and make sure to lure in as, enemy, as many enemy units as we can. We've basically got to draw them in. I'm sure he'll go for the capturing infantry and not anything else. Alright, let's see where this goes. Oh, we've lost one. Well, we can afford to lose just one, I think. Now, as you see, it got lowered down to 7 because the capture rate is now 1.25 instead of 1.5. Yeah, I think we're safe. But I do want to get the tank. Oh, actually, this is uh, probably good enough. Yep! Yeah, we're good! We win! I'm pretty sure he can't build enough units to, uh... ruin our power score. Let's double check just to be sure. Yep, we're good. Take that, Kanbei. Gosh, all the- they made all of the yellow comet CEOs the most annoying. <laughs> it's hilarious. How many turns is that? Okay, same score as Sensei. But that's fine, I suppose.